Human Factors in Aviation focuses on applying knowledge of human behavior, abilities, and limitations to improve the design of systems, tasks, environments, and equipment. The aim is to enhance safety, performance, and efficiency by minimizing errors and optimizing human system interaction, since human error is responsible for 75% of aviation accidents, understanding the root causes of these errors is crucial. Errors often stem from poor design, inadequate training, or flawed procedures, rather than individual failings. Models like James Reason's Swiss Cheese model show how multiple small failures across system layers can align to cause accidents, emphasizing that errors result from system-wide vulnerabilities. The Swiss Cheese model, developed by psychologist James Reason, is a way of explaining how complex systems, especially in industries like aviation, can fail. In any system, there are multiple layers of defense designed to prevent accidents, such as procedures, regulations, technology, and human actions. Each layer acts as a barrier, but none of them are perfect. Every layer has weaknesses or holes, similar to Swiss cheese. These holes can be due to human error, technical faults, or external factors like bad weather. When an accident happens, it's rarely because of a single failure. Instead, it occurs because multiple holes in different layers of defense align, allowing an error to slip through all the layers. The Swiss cheese model emphasizes that safety depends on the robustness of all defenses, and even small lapses across different barriers can result in catastrophic outcomes if they line up. The tragic Mangalore air crash on May 22, 2010, illustrates the Swiss cheese model in real life. Air India Express Flight 812 from Dubai to Mangalore overshot the runway, crashing into a valley, killing 158 of the 166 people on board. Let's break down how the Swiss cheese model applies to this accident. 1. Weather conditions, environmental factors, hole in the cheese. The Mangalore airport is known for its tabletop runway, which ends abruptly at a steep drop. On the day of the accident, the weather was rainy, making the runway slippery. Safety defense, pilots are trained to land carefully in adverse weather, and airports have guidelines on landing in wet conditions. However, the difficult terrain combined with the rain created a hole in this layer. The captain had just completed a long series of flights, and though he was an experienced pilot, fatigue had set in. Fatigue is a subtle but dangerous risk in aviation, as it impairs judgment and decision-making. As the plane approached the runway, it was too high and too fast for a safe landing. Yet, instead of going around for another attempt, the captain chose to proceed with the landing. The captain's fatigue likely clouded his judgment, causing him to press ahead with the landing despite it being unstable. This was the second hole. Aviation procedures mandate that pilots must abandon a landing attempt if the approach is unstable. The first officer did suggest a go-around, but the captain overruled him a decision, heavily influenced by fatigue. In aviation, crew resource management is critical. It teaches that cockpit crews should communicate openly, and decisions should be made collaboratively. A breakdown in crew resource management occurred when the captain overruled the co-pilot's suggestion. This was the third hole, a failure in communication between the crew, Proper crew resource management is designed to prevent such scenarios, but in this case, the communication barrier broke down, leading the error to progress further. As the aircraft approached the runway, it touched down over 1,600 meters from the threshold of the 2,450-meter-long runway. The remaining distance was simply not enough to decelerate the aircraft safely, given its high landing speed and the wet surface. The plane was too fast and too far down the runway. This error in judgment, combined with the tabletop runway and weather, meant that the margin for stopping the aircraft was non-existent. This was the fourth hole. Airports are designed with runway and safety areas to provide a buffer for such situations. But in Mangalore, the terrain prevented the installation of an adequate RISA, making this a critical vulnerability. One of the most critical moments in this crash was the failure to execute a go-around when it became clear that the landing was unsafe. A go-around is a standard procedure when the approach is unstable, and it would have given the crew another chance to safely land the aircraft. Despite the plane landing too far down the runway, the captain did not abort the landing. This was the fifth hole, 
and it aligned perfectly with the others, sealing the fate of the aircraft, the go-around procedure is a last-ditch defense to prevent accidents like this. But human factors, like fatigue and decision-making pressure, overrode this safety measure. James Reason's model provides a framework for understanding how multiple small failures in different areas of a system can align and cause accidents. Each layer of defense in an aviation system is like a slice of Swiss cheese. The holes in each slice represent vulnerabilities or failures whether due to human error, poor design, or unforeseen conditions, when these holes align across multiple layers an accident occurs. Importantly, Reason's model teaches us that human error is not a single point of failure, but rather part of a chain of interacting failures within the broader system, 